Welcome to AUTV News and Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I am Clinton Eason. Lamar University's soccer team defender Juana Plata was named Southland Conference All-Conference First Team in 2019. She also earned United Soccer Coaches All-Midwestern Region 13. In her sophomore season, she scored six goals. Juana was invited to compete for her home country, El Salvador, in FIFA events. She is here to talk about her trip and opportunity to play for the national team. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm hanging in there. How was your experience playing for a national team? Um, honestly, it was pretty nostalgic just because I've been to the country before and then right. just going back to like my roots, which is a good experience. And then um, the trainers over there were really nice, very helpful, as long, along with the players. Usually um, entering a new team, you don't know how you're gonna react um, or how the other Players mm -hmm. are going to react to you, but they kind of invited me in and it was really welcoming. Did you meet anybody that you've met in the past over there before? Um, I actually had some friends that played um, soccer with me back in Houston. They mm -hmm. actually went to tryout as well and they made the team. So, Is there any similarities when it comes to workouts compared to Lamar and your workouts? Um, so when I went, it was technically like their preseason. Mm -hmm. So it was basically just training three times a day, which is kind of similar to what we do here in our preseason at Lamar. Um, the only difference is the elevation is a lot higher over there mm -hmm. compared to here. And um, so it was hard to adjust to like the air conditioning, air conditions and breathing. But other than that, it was a really good experience. It's like I was like those training. Was it like consistency as in like, was it just running or like working out, lifting weights? Like, um, so we had three sessions a day. Morning session was very technical. Mm -hmm. So that was two hours. Mid session was very team based. Um, all of it incorporated some kind of conditioning, but more so like with the ball. Um, then the last session was the gym session where we just kind of like went to the gym and worked out. Yeah. What did it mean to you to represent your home country? Um, honestly, it was a great experience and I was pretty excited to be invited over and the coaches saw the potential in me and you know it was just up to me to go and prove what I had mm -hmm. and they saw that when I got there and you know they critiqued me on like what I did wrong but they also kind of touched up on what I did good and it kind of gave me some insight as a player and I was able to bring that and apply it to here the soccer team here at Lamar. How did you find out about your invite? Um, so basically I have a personal trainer in Houston and right. he had connections with the head coach and basically he sent my film to him and when they saw it they were like yeah like bring her over like we want to see her in person. Okay and uh, in an article you said a lot of that people didn't know about you know where you was from like how come like how did you know how come people didn't know where you was from? Um, I think because I mainly represent my Mexican side. All right. Um, so my dad's Mexican, my mom's Salvadorian. And, you know, mm. here in Southeast Texas, more so a Mexican population. Yeah, true. And I don't know, no one really asks. People don't really be like, oh, where are you from? So, or I don't just go ahead and say like, oh, I'm Salvadorian, I'm Salvadorian. So, so people, that's why. Like, we... People have to ask in, in, like, in order for you to be able to like, you know, tell them like, where are you from or what side you present? Yeah, basically, I'm not just gonna go tell everyone, so. It's just, if you ask, I'll tell you, but if not, though. So if like uh, the Mexican national team wants to invite you, would you be able to represent them too? Or would that kind of like affect? Like, no, the... so in that case, um, so I was born here in the US, but whenever you're gonna go play for your national team, right? Um, because your parents are from there, you have to basically pick a national team. So if I wanted to play for the Mexicans, then I would have to get, go through my dad and get my Mexican dual citizenship. Mm. But now, I have to get my Salvadorian citizenship. So yeah, you can only pick one. Okay. Um, you overcame a lot of injuries in your career here at Lamar University. Mm -hmm. How did those injuries affect you playing for the Cardinals? Um, so yeah, I tore my ACL my junior year and it was, it was tough. It was tough, but luckily that was kind of in COVID. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have a season anyway, so it allowed me to come back the next season play like the second half but um I mean at the end of the day like I feel like it happened for a reason it taught me a lot about myself and I was able to come out and you know be better than I was 
Considering so, that was like a year ago today, which is like crazy. So a now, lot like, in a year. you know, you you part like you're fine. You're able to play, go out there and play like as much as you know as many minutes that you can, or is there like a restriction minutes that you have to? Um, no. So at the beginning, you have to kind of like first games back, you kind of have to build your way up, right. gain that conditioning back. But now I'm able to play like a full 90 minute game and be okay. So. And you said like being injured kind of taught you a lot about yourself, like. What do you mean? Like, what did it teach you about yourself that you know you didn't know? I would say number one is patience. You have to be patient. It's after a major knee reconstruction surgery, like it's not easy. You have to like build your way up. And I feel like that patience kind of reflected onto like other aspects of my life. And, you know, it just kind of taught me how to like handle things better. Like mm -hmm. even if something bad happens, you kind of just have to think about the positive and keep pushing through day by day. So. How are y'all preparing for conference play? Because y'all have a game coming up in this conference play. So what's the, what's the routine? Um, so the routine is we actually have training in a few hours, but um, we'll go ahead and train. We'll scout the other team, see mm. what their strengths, what their weaknesses are. And I'm sure they're doing the same for us. And basically, we just take it game by game and try our best. And hopefully everyone just brings it all. Thank you for joining me today. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching LUTV News in Focus. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.